Hey, what's up with you guys? So I just want to do a quick little video um, getting on the Jose Ramirez versus Richard Comey fight. So that fight has officially been finalized uh, by top rank. So no more, no more, uh, no more speculation as to who Jose Ramirez will be fighting next. Would it would it have been um, Regis Progres or somebody else? Because I think there was actually somebody else. Jose Ramirez was linked to fight. I forgot who it was. It definitely wasn't a Comey type opponent. It was somebody who's a lower rated guy than Comey as far as like boxing name boxing names goes. But um yeah, nonetheless, this is a this is a solid fight. I'm not I'm not too mad at it, especially considering that we, we could have potentially had a Jose Ramirez versus Richard Comey fight. I mean versus Pro Grace WBC title fight. But since we're not getting that due to the politics, due to the financial reasons of boxing. I can't even say politics because it's not really politics. It's just financial uh, situation. Um, Jose Ramirez feels like he's the bigger draw. So if the, is, if he is going to fight Progress, he should he should be getting closer to 50-50 of the pie instead of, I think, I forgot what the WBC split was. I think it might have been 65-35 or something like that. So... No way he's taking that fight, especially when um he can get paid probably more money, more money and uh actually bigger slice of the pie and you know still work his way up for a title shot. So I ain't too mad at that. I'm 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 definitely not too mad at that. So I'll probably go for one of these other one of these other belts. I will have to look. I I do want to kind of look and see. Where he's at in the rankings, where where Jose Ramirez is at in the rankings for most of these belts, sanctioning bodies. Let's see. So at 140, Jose, let's see where he's the highest at. The highest? Hold on. Oh no, he's so the highest he is. He's number three for the WBO. He's number seven for the IBF, so he's not touching that anytime soon. He's number five for the WBA. He can definitely work his way up there, but uh, it'll be a little while for a title shot because uh, Puello and I forgot, is it Akhmadev? I think they're fighting for a belt. I can't remember who it is that's fighting for the WBA belt, but that was just announced this week as well. And then the WBC, he just dropped to six since he turned down the opportunity. So we'll see where it goes from there. But I like this fight with Richard Comey. Let's kind of break it down a little bit. This fight is definitely not going the distance. I can tell you that much. Both guys are come forward pressure fighters, so it will be, you know, a clash of, of similar styles. Um, I didn't look to see if this was a 12-round fight, too, because if it's def if it's a 12-round fight, this definitely isn't going decision. I'm looking on boxing scene right now to see if they gave... Oh, yep, this is a 12-round fight. I'm betting... I am betting the... Uh, I am betting a Jose Ramirez knockout. I could tell you guys for that... Uh, for the most part, that's what I'm going with. And if we got some good odds on just a knockout period, I'll take that as well. But the opening lines on FanDuel, according to Pro Boxing Odds, has Jose Ramirez as a minus 650 with Richard Comey being a plus 400 underdog. Now, that's, that's some decent value considering both these guys have punching power. But I just feel like uh, Jose Ramirez is definitely, definitely just a tad bit just well, I'm not even gonna say tab, but ta Jose Ramirez is, is 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 a little bit. He's like a little. He's like one level above a uh, a level of Richard Comey. So imagine him there. He's been in there with some dogs. He could have been undisputed, man. He gave Josh Taylor, who some say was the best 140 and was top 10 at one point on almost everybody's uh, pound for pound list. He gave him some hell, and without the two knockdowns that Josh Taylor got, let's just say he just. Let's just say those were regular uh those were regular ten nine rounds for Josh Taylor. He he loses that fight to Jose Ramirez. So um he put up a great fight there. Uh he just had a t he had a he had a I'm not gonna say too much of a struggle with uh uh Pedraza who Richard Comey just fought and had a draw with, but uh he kinda handled him a little bit. So we'll see how this plays out. But like I said, man, I don't see this going twelve rounds. Both of these guys are really aggressive fighters. Who's it? Jose Pedraza is a guy who's going to move around a little bit and make you work. Um, has He has pretty decent ring IQ, so let's see where it goes from there. But uh, that's all I have on that, man. Let me know what you guys think about this this fight, man. Who, who would you love to see um, both of these guys fight next, if depending on the winner? I'm out. Peace.